Welcome back to Honey's Adventures in Siberia. Let's ask him about the grapes first. Do excuse me, Professor. Professor, sorry to disturb you again. What is it you want to know, miss? You wouldn't know where the forest Sauvignon plants are kept in Bauerstadt, would you? Uh, why do you think there are Sauvignon plants here? I read about it in a book at the library. Uh, try going to see the station master. If such a shrub exists, he will have a better idea than anyone. It's actually he who sent me to you. I thought it a little strange, but he definitely said ask the paleontologist. You're the only one here, aren't you? Yes, yes indeed. What a strange way to behave. Well, I, um, I think he must have made a mistake, that's all. Nobody tells me anything here. Maybe you should ask the rectors. After all, they are in charge of the university. All right, thanks. So we are getting a huge... I'll leave you in peace. I hope I haven't around. disturbed you too much. Sorry? No, 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 not at all, my dear child. So now we have a choice. Go talk to the rectors and pursue the Sauvignon grapes, or show him the... the uh, mammoth doll. I think we're right here. We'll show him... The mammoth doll. Do excuse me, Professor. Professor, sorry to disturb you again. Professor, I have brought you something that should be of interest to you. Look. What have you got there, then? Let's see. An effigy of a mammoth. But this is Hans' doll, is it not? Yes, of course it is. How on earth did you... Oh, my God. It's in my hands. It exists. It really exists. Please, please do excuse me. I'm, I'm deeply, deeply moved. You see? Your Hans and my Varlberg heir are one and the same. This is incredible. After all these years, how can I ever thank you, my dear? Oh, I must waste no time. I'm off to my laboratory. I must study this carefully. May I borrow your treasure a moment? Uh, well, actually, uh... Don't worry, miss. I will take the greatest care of it. But I need to study it. You see, it has such importance to me that this very afternoon I shall deliver an impromptu lecture to my students about this very object. If you are interested in Hans Vorlberg, then it is essential that you attend. Hmm? Do you think so? Obviously. Give me your telephone number, and I will call you the moment my lecture begins. I will return you your doll at the end. You have my word. Aha! So we're in the lab. See what we can sneak around in. Oh, a cylinder. What other treasures do you have, Mr. Professor? Let's keep looking around. Maybe we'll see our grapes hidden away here while he's excited. Ah. Mushroom. Tongs. A mushroom picture. 
wonder if that's going to be the uh, mushroom that we read about that gives you the good eyesight. Alright, we might have to do something else with that. Let's see what else there is. And he'll give us the doll back after a lecture. Want to know this? You told me earlier about a lecture on some ancient Siberian tribe called the Ooks or something? The Yukals, my dear. Careful not to confuse them with the Ukistran people of Central Asia. Do excuse me. I, I wanted to know if your lecture is going to start soon. Your eagerness to learn delights me, my dear. But I haven't finished studying this marvelous mammoth effigy yet. Don't worry, I will call you. And see you later. Alright, well, we can chat about hands maybe. I think that's going to be it. Your Hans Varlberg sounds uncannily like the one I'm looking for. Can you tell me a little bit more about him? He was always a mystery to me. He never said very much, and never quite seemed to grasp what you said. I'll leave you in peace. I hope I haven't disturbed you too much. Sorry? No, 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 not at all, my dear child. Alright, so he's just repeating himself now. Don't think he'll let me take it back yet. I don't need that for the time being. Alright, so we won't be able to take it back at all. So we've got powder. We can still look over here. Let's take a look at everything. Test tube holder, the voice cylinder, and the powder. Well, we've got test tubes. Doesn't really let us pour the powder anywhere. I suspect we don't quite have everything that we need to do here. So that's fine. We can always come back. Gentlemen, forgive me for disturbing you again, but I have a little problem. A little problem, a little problem. Everyone has little problems now, you know. They are kept to oneself, and they don't stop the world from turning. Nor trains from leaving stations. Are you sure there are no Amazon Sauvignon plants in Barockstadt? Because I have just interviewed the station master and the paleontologist, and what they said really didn't convince me that there wasn't any here. We are quite definite on this point. There are no Sauvignon plants growing in Barockstadt. You see, miss, the Amazon forest Sauvignon is a rare shrub that requires very special conditions for growth. That's right. Uh, conditions that are very hard to reproduce, believe you me. Difficult, but not impossible. Uh, fortunately, our garden has proved very successful. Your garden? So, there is a garden in Barakstadt? Oh, the garden. Well, if there was one, it would be only a little garden hidden behind the station. But our station master would be very proud of it. He would take very good care of it, too. Everything would grow marvelously if we were able to cultivate it at all, and it would be all down to his gardening prowess. And we would be proud as punch. And we wouldn't forget the role the paleontologist might play in this. What's the paleontologist got to do with it all? Without him and without his laboratory, how would we make the wine, do you think? And it would be good wine indeed, my dear colleagues, would it not? Oh, yes, a delightful balm to soothe away our long hours of toil and our heavy responsibilities. 
we would wait impatiently every year for the arrival of the year's produce. So, if I have understood you correctly, there are indeed Sauvignon plants in Barockstadt. They are cultivated in a garden behind the station, then turned into wine by the paleontologist's loving care. And finally, the pleasure of tasting is yours. If I'm not very much mistaken, gentlemen, you have a minor racket operating here. Miss, you do go jumping to some hasty conclusions. We never said that. That's not what we said at all. Uh, we, we were talking in the conditional. You know, with ifs and woulds. So, what would happen if I had such a hunch? Hmm, you would have to keep it to yourself, of course. Yes, if, if you would be so kind as to keep it a secret. <laughs> It would only be a small local concern, producing barely a few bottles every year. That's right. Nothing so grandiose as a business. Otherwise, we'd be liable to be fined. So, we can't count on your discretion, can't we? Don't worry. I have no intention at all of getting messed up in anything. Okay. Here we are, busy chat-chatting, and look at the clock. It's tea time. Already? My word, doesn't time fly by? Thank you for a charming visit, miss. And thank you, gentlemen. So it goes right back on to the paleontologist and the station master. I guess I want to hear that cylinder. So we'll head to the station master, stop at the train, listen to the cylinder, and see what develops from uh, a little more shoving onto, onto the master now that we know the rectors have given him up. Excuse me, Station Master, but I need you again. Can't you see? I am very, very busy. Uh, no. I, well, well, I am. Very busy indeed. But, uh, okay, okay, I, I think I can give you a minute of my time. You have been playing with me, haven't you? You knew very well there were forest Sauvignon berries in the Station Garden. No, not at all. I have never seen your Sauvignon thing. You don't have to lie to me. I know all about it. You and the rectors are in cahoots, and the professor's lab has been turned into a distillery. You've all got a nice little smuggling racket on the side. Smuggling racket? Hey, hey lady, you're going a bit far there. It's just a little on-the-side thing we got going. That's all. It's just for ourselves. Hey, be honest. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Aren't you worried about the reputation of this fine university? The authorities should be informed of this. But we haven't done anything wrong. It's not a crime. Can you open the gate to the garden, please? Sure, sure. No problem. Right away, miss. Quick, let's follow. There you are. Please feel free to visit the garden at your leisure. And uh, uh, there was just one thing. Uh, I'm not a liar, not really, just mum's the word. There is a reputation in the university to think about, and I have superiors, and I have to do what I can. I understand. Don't you worry. Ah, oh, thank you, miss. So that's what he was hiding all along. What is in the garden? We want some berries to get those birds away from the hatch thing. Now they said it was a small patch behind the station. 
there they are. Looks like crab apples. I don't need that for the time being. Okay, we don't need to take any more. Nowhere else. Let's head to the birds first. <laughs> Better get up there while we can. Here is the mechanical bird we heard about. It swoops down and scoops up the eggs. Impossible to reach it. Oh, it's a good thing I've got tongs. Yes. So there is a cuckoo bird egg, I guess. Yep, cuckoo's egg. I don't think there's anything else we need to do up here. Can't really activate this or anything else. Now that egg... First thing I think of is the, um, the bandstand. Sort of had a off-balance scale thing and, and it looked like an egg-shaped object in one side. So... This may be what we need to gain access over there. But we're right at the train, so let's take care of listening to that cylinder while we're here. And the birds are gone. They fed, they're off recovering, I guess. a shadow of himself since your departure. I had to take care of everything for him. Housework, factory paperwork, the workforce, clients, everything. And now, today, well, I really don't know who or what I'm fighting for. Times are so hard, and this terrible war is destroying everything. Nobody cares for our automatons anymore. I just think about you returning. And when you do return, I will have turned this factory into a palace worthy of your genius. Please take care of yourself. I love you so much, Anna. Oh. So. Oh, thank you. She's about to do that. She's told him about their father's death. And about... It's like one more somewhere. And about the war. And the situation there at the factory, kind of pleading for him to come home in a way. Get that primed, I think we know our next puzzle to check out.
going to take a quick break. I hope you watch the next part because the adventure will continue. See ya!